Slow, slow, slow. Thanks for tuning in the Cross TV Network. Y'all already know that's Cross with a K. Appreciate y'all coming. Tuned in and every day. Y'all can be anywhere in the world. Shout here with me. You know my slogan, man. I never waste y'all time. I know how valuable time is. I don't waste too many years of my life already. You know what I'm saying? So I damn sure ain't trying to waste no more of mine or yours. You know what I'm saying? So peace and blessings to all. And I hope everybody good. Everybody healthy. Enjoying this hot weather. You know, and everything like that of that nature. You know? Um, with that being said, man, you know, I seen some um, footage of them people been hitting me up. Telling me that OG Dead Eye had a lot to say about some of us OGs over here in New York, right? Over here in the East Coast. You know, first and foremost, you know what I'm saying? OG Dead Eye, whose original name is um, Leonard McKenzie, he changed his name to some old other name, some Arabic name or something or something like that. But, um, you know, um, he is who he is as far as being a pillar of this damn move thing on the East Coast, you know. Um, that was somebody that I call my big brother or acknowledged as my big brother, you know what I'm saying? And as time, you know, whatever. And as time went by, you know, I built my own legacy and everything, and, um, you know, as y'all already know. So, I'm hearing that, um, you know, that I have something to say about me, Shaquel, Tankhead, and this. That. First of all, I would know why he, I, I would know why you would, um, feel some type of way about Tankhead. You'll feel some type of way about Tankhead because let's not leave out, let's not leave out the narrative. You know what I'm saying? You know, that I, you was fool. You know what I'm saying? Tankhead was on the bus with you. You know what I'm saying? He tried to cut you on the bus. He tried to cut you on the bus the, on, 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 at Downstate. On the Downstate bus. He tried to cut you on the bus. Um, police broke it up. He, he, he scratched the police and then he, and then he, bit the police and everything. The police beat him up and everything. So he caught new, um, two new ones off that case for Dead Eye. So of course Dead Eye gonna, gonna try to um, throw dirt on the person's name or whatever, you know what I mean? But whatever happened to Tank Head, you know what I'm saying, or whatever, you know what I'm saying, what relevance does that hold? What, what, what relevance do that hold, you know what I'm saying? That really don't hold no 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 relevance. You know what I'm saying? When you go through wars and you dealing with battles, sometimes you're gonna come out on top, sometimes you might come out even, sometimes you might take a little L. You know what I mean? That just come with that just come with this with this with this with the territory. But the thing is, you still live to fight another day and you keep going. The war still go on. The war, a war don't be won in one battle. You see how in Russia and Ukraine going on right now, there's many different battles that goes on that's gonna dictate an outcome, you know what I'm saying, the war. You know what I mean? Um, I can understand that I, why you feel your type of way about me, man. You know, because you was mad for the fact that, you know what I'm saying, who is this young, this little young, Fly 183rd nigga that's running around putting all this work. I keep hearing about this young dude named Mel Cross, Mel Cross, Mel Cross, Mel Cross. You know what I'm saying? And then now the certain he got the whole situation. You know what I'm saying? 18 years old. I'm running the whole, the whole island. You know what I'm saying? Every set and everything, and I'm running the streets at the time. You know what I'm saying? So you mad about you? He was mad about that. You know what I'm saying? But ultimately, he was mad. Because of the situation that happened with me and Rob Lowe, you know what I'm saying? And this is something that I wasn't—I wasn't going to put out there. I wasn't going to say nothing about. You know what I mean? But he—he he was mad because he came on three. On, on, and he came to NIC. Anybody that was on the island back then, you know what I'm saying? You putting in a lot of work and you popping and everything, putting in a lot of work. And you can't go to no borough houses. You can't go um, to no other buildings on Rikers Island. So what they'll do is they'll put you in NIC where I was at. So I was in population, but I couldn't be around nobody. I couldn't be around nobody. So in NIC, they had me in a, on, on, on a tier called um, 3C. On 3C, the first the first um, two cells was in a cage. The next three cells was in a cage. The next two cells was in a cage. The next three, the last three cells in a cage. The last three cells is the box that if you can't go no other box, you know what I'm saying, being anywhere else in no borough houses on Rikers Island, that's where they put you at. All right. So now I was in the second tank with three cells, and I had the tank by myself. I had the TV. You know they have come bring me the phone and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? Rob Lowe and what's his name was in the front cell, whatever. You know what I'm saying? So it was an issue. Dudes knew what the issue was. You know what I'm saying? Rob was fooled. So it was like you had to eat food to be fooled. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, situation unfolded. You know what I'm saying? I put Rob Lowe to sleep. I 
cut them, you know what I'm saying? And me and the police started getting it popping. Me and the police got it popping or whatever. Police dragged, you know, beat me up and dragged me inside the, inside the cage, you know what I'm saying? And, and took care of the situation. Then I came to NIC after that, not too long after that, and took Bob Lowe's cell. And when he found out what had happened and everything like that, he felt some type of way. He wasn't in tune know what was going on. Because first of all, you know what I'm saying, that I haven't been relevant in years. He, that I haven't been relevant. He haven't been blood or irrelevant or nothing like that since like 9, 7, 9, 8. That I hasn't been relevant. He's turned crip. He turned um, 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 Muslim. He changed his name to a righteous name. You know what I'm saying? He did mad things or whatever. You know what I'm saying? He started losing his mind. You know what I mean? You know, I don't know what's his purpose for saying what he's saying. I guess he's trying to get lit because that's the new wave. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, in order to get lit, we're going to start throwing dirt or try to throw dirt on other people's names just to get our channels up and popping. You know what I'm saying? We already know how that many of people have used that strategy. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, I don't know if this, this is another, you know, um, one of those, but you know, I don't really be doing all this. And plus he locked up anyway. So, you know, but I just wanted to let the record straight, man. You know, that, um, you know, people that he talking about and everything, whatever, mama, is, is a little storyline behind that and why he feels some type of way about those. You know what I mean? Outside of that, man, I got a couple of other um, videos I'm about to put together right now, man. But I just wanted to just throw that out there, man. That's a one shot deal. He's irrelevant. There's no reason for me to even talk about anything else outside of him. You know what I'm saying? And, but just to um, add on to that, so being that, that I said that I was fooled and everything for cutting Rob Lowe, so I'm like, all right, you know, now mind you, we're in the same tier. We just in different cages, so we can't get to each other. We both in population, or we not in a box or nothing like that. We just got segregated. We high profile, so we, we, we segregated from everybody, you know what I'm saying? So one day, me and Dead Eye was going to court together. So we was going to court, whatever. Dead Eye like, yeah, you know, we're going to get it in. We're going to shoot you. I'm going to cut you or whatever, whatever. I'm like, yeah, all right, I'm going to cut you. I'm going to do this and everything to you or whatever. So make a long story short, we get to the bullpens. The police put us in the bullpens, but they kept the shackles and everything on us. You know what I'm saying? So I don't care if, we, I, if it's, I got shackles on me or not. You saying it's lit and you're going to cut me and everything, whatever. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to hold you to that. You're going to have to show me. You're going to have to do that. You know what I'm saying? I'm from 183rd. You're going to have to show me. You're going to have to do that. You know what I mean? And um, so when we got in the bullpens, you know what I'm saying? He wanted to talk and run his mouth and everything, whatever. So I just ran up to him, head butted him. You know what I'm saying? And everything. And I, and I was kicking him. You know what I'm saying? He's just standing there. He, he's standing there, like, looking at me all shocked and everything. I'm like, yeah, you know, all right. I, you know what I'm saying? I can't, you know what I'm saying? The same thing like with Tank had. You know, they was on the bus shackled up and everything. You know what I'm saying? Tank had still try to cut him and do what they, you know what I'm saying, with everything because, you know, with the shackles and everything on. You know what I'm saying? And it was a model. We got to eat food to be food. And at the end of the day, I wanted dead eye to know, like, yo, when you see me and when I see you, it's on, on site wherever we go at. You know what I'm saying? It's gonna be on site. You know what I mean? So, so with that being said, man, you know, that's why he gonna say what he wanna say about me, man. But you know, Mikey B and them was just on another um and quelling all them was just on another channel speaking of the same issue. You know what I mean? And I think Mikey B mentioned about the time when I had um kicked that out in his ass and all that, whatever. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, he's salty, whatever, and he see people out here living their life, man. You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, man, I'm not thinking about him, you know what I'm saying? I wish him the best, man. He already know the vibes though, man. But outside of that, man, well they I know people probably like, well, Mel, well, why would you mention this? You know what I'm saying? You on your you know what I'm saying, you on your righteous path and everything, whatever. I just felt that I had to mention that because I'm not gonna hide nothing from nobody, you know what I'm saying? And I and um I wanna show the kids like, you know what I mean, like this game thing, like people that you bang for, risk your life for, that you think is your man's, your homies and everything like that, man. You know, it's not always what it what it, what it, what it seems. You know what I'm saying? A lot of us got a lot of history. A lot of us put a lot of work together. A lot of us walking around with one lung. A lot of us is walking around with one testicle. A lot of people done got killed. A lot of people who's half brain dead, you know what I'm saying? You know, a lot of things for this, you know, and then for people to just turn on you, you know, based on um, based on politics, that's not even true and, and stuff like that, man. So, you know, like this shit is this shit is corny, you know what I mean? But at the end of the day, this is what made me who I am. 
You know what I'm saying? So I got to own it. You know what I'm saying? My history was my history. You know what I'm saying? I'm just keeping moving forward because I definitely don't want none of these kids to continuously going through what I went through or going through what we went through in life. You know what I'm saying? When I was banging and doing what I did, I banged for a core. I didn't bang for no destruction. I banged because it was, it was a racial situation going, and I banged for every black person that was coming in there that was oppressed and going through things for they could wear their jewels and walk around and do whatever. You know what I'm saying? That's the same reason why I went to banging on Crips, because when we was here and we started doing this thing, whatever, the Crips wasn't around. There was no Crips over here. You know what I mean? So that's just a little, that's just a little, um, friendly little piece of history right there because you know me man i don't get into the politics i don't talk about 